Hi, I'm Jeremy Bullock, Boba Clap from Star Wars. And I go to yodanews.com. Hey everybody, Mark from Yoda's News here, and tonight we're bringing you a review of another cool household item. This is the Darth Vader Toaster. We got this from thinkgeek.com. You can pick it up right now at the website for $49.99, and it's going to give you a quick look at the box. The front is a window box. I don't know anyone that would keep it in the package, but if you really wanted to, you're a Vader collector and you don't want to take it out, you can see through the front. Uh, it's the standard new packaging with the, the Disney logo on it. Little May the Toast Be With You. And it uh, shows you on the side just that it actually will toast the toast with the branding of Star Wars in it. It's two slice, cool touch toaster, has different functions, anti-slip rubber feet. And we will set it up and toast some toast for you so you can see how it works. Open it up here, you have your user's manual, but it's a toaster. Can't imagine you actually have to read that. And that's attached, so give me a second to attach it. But just give me a second to attach it, plug it in, and then I'll give you a closer look at the insides of it in just a second. All right, I went ahead and took out the box. Uh, as with most appliances, you have a pretty short cord, so it's for a kitchen item. Um, as you can see, it's a nice representation of Darth Vader. Uh, it's a little bit longer than it is higher because of the, have the toaster functionality. But I'd say it's about 12 or 13 inches there, maybe about 9 or 10 inches high. And you can see you have the plastic lenses here for the eyes. It's a little stylized, of course, but it's a toaster. And if we put it on back here, you'll see you have uh, your, this is the crumb tray. You have your quick stop, your settings here, and then of course, to get it toasted. And the top here, inside, are the slats that actually have Star Wars in them. And that's what you want to go ahead and make your toast. It kind of burns the name in there. So we're going to plug it in now and actually see how it works in action. So I'm going to move it to a different area, get it plugged in, get some toast in there, and we'll check right back. All right, it's all plugged in. I went ahead and basically set it in the middle. So I'm just going to put in a couple slices of bread, and then we'll check back in a couple minutes. All right, the toast has been in there probably about 90 seconds or so. I'm hoping the timing is good and it pops up within the next second or so, and we can take a look and see how it came out. Uh, it does say any instructions to let it run before you use it the first time for bread. Maybe I should have read the instructions. Uh, I didn't. So I wouldn't advise putting the bread in the first time, follow the instructions like it says, and let it run a couple cycles before you put bread in. Uh, it did do a little smoky. Oh, good, we got it on video. So let's see how it came out. <laughs> Very cool. As you can see, you have Star Wars toasted into the side. Again, I'm sure there's different settings you could do. Uh, this is our first try, and I just went ahead and had it in the middle. Um, looks like maybe we should have let it go a little bit longer on that one, and you'll be able to see it, but toasted it perfectly. It looks very cool. This will be a lot of fun in the kitchen, especially if you have kids, collectors, toast up a whole bunch of it. Again, there's a different setting knob in the back to go from light to dark. I just had it in the middle, so you'll have to go ahead and play with it to see, you know, how it'll make the toast you like it and get your little Star Wars logo on the front. So thanks for checking out the video review. Great item. It's really just a fun item. Uh, again, $49.99 at thinkgeek.com. And if you're into anything like Star Wars, this will be an awesome item to add to your kitchen. And thanks for checking out yodasnews.com.